Hey guys, me and Peach is here. Well, okay, Peach is, is she's busy. <laughs> she's busy. Anyways, um, I got into a new subscription, um, and I think this might be a good one. Now, I've only had one box so far, but I've had that box for a little while now, and, um, whew, well, you come on back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's, uh, Atlas Coffee Subscription. I know, I got like no makeup on. I'm, actually, it's what, 9.30 in the morning. I got about another hour and a half and I'm going to bed. And I just I got to fold some clothes and make a video. <laughs> Somebody, stop now. Why is it you always want attention as soon as I turn on this video camera? Stop. Stop. She just she can't take it. Okay, so here is the Atlas Coffee. With coffee club comes in this nice little box, um, packaged very well, and you know you have this nice bag that's like all the way up there. I've had it, I've had it about three weeks now, so you know on my days off I've been hitting it up, and I've still got like a nice amount of left. Um, so I think that the one pound bag a month is going to do me fine. There are, I think, three different categories. So, and I have a link to their uh, site that will be, you know, posted in the descriptions. Okay, coffee notes, history, tasting notes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, they send you this whole thing of, like, all about the coffee that you're getting. You're getting coffee from, like, all over the world. And here's where the coffee came from this month on an actual postcard and everything. That's beautiful. Um, so this is Mexican coffee. And they do a whole uh, test with you, a quiz, whatever. What kind of coffees do you prefer? what strength, what, you know, blah, 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 and, uh, what roast level, you know, blah, blah. Anyways, so you've got, okay, Mexico's coffee history. It looks like Sierra Sur de Oaxaca. I, I don't know if y'all can read that. More power to you. <laughs> Mexico's independence from Spain in 1821 ushered in a period of large-scale coffee plantation development by European landowners. Only after the Mexican Revolution of 1910 did smallholder ind indigenous farmers have the opportunity to cultivate coffee on their own lands, which they did with great success. After a sharp downturn in the 1980s, the coffee industry in Mexico has yet to recover fully, but production, volume, and quality increase each year thanks to the development of an interconnected cooperative system, which serves also as a force for community development, uh, spearheading projects like schools and sustainability initiatives, and to help coffee growing communities thrive year after year. So that that's you know, that's cool to know about like how coffee even coffee plantations even came to be in Mexico. Okay, and the notes in this uh subregion Monte Albain, uh fully washed, altitude of thirteen thirteen hundred to nineteen hundred meters. Okay, you know what, after I do this a few times, that might start making sense to me, but right now I'm just like, it's all Greek to me. Okay, the notes in the coffee. Much like the 
Zap Zapotec Bruin, from which this coffee gets its namesake, Monte Albain, and the producers of this coffee have their roots deep in the cultural and historical traditions of Oex Oexica, for lack of better pronunciation. For over three generations, they have delivered an exceptional cup brimming with dark chocolate mixed with bright citrus notes and a rounded red fruit sweetness. Wow. Complex yet balanced. Every sip is an invitation to discover more. Okay, well, when I first read this, I was like, what is this going to taste like? Okay, because I'm thinking, uh, okay. Uh, dark chocolate mixed with citrus notes. That sounds really good. Okay, that <laughs> sounds really good. But in coffee? And then a rounded red fruit sweetness. Rounded red fruit sweetness. What red fruit? I don't know. Apple type prop thing, I guess. Anyways, but yeah, the whole citrus notes thing kind of kind of got me. I was like, okay, what, what are we talking? Are we talking orange? Are we talking lemon? What are we talking? But this is this is a cool postcard, and I will definitely be keeping it. And somewhere, maybe on the back, I'll just write, you know, um, Atlas Coffee first month. And, yeah. So, let's get on about the coffee. Okay, the coffee is, um, it's ground. It's not ground, like, overly fine. It's just nice, ground, ground finely, and... There's like no lumps or, you know, any anything like that in there. Oof. Um so it's it's very even evenly ground. And I use I use a little bit more. I have a like a five coffee pot and uh which she's brewing right now. Um I use a little bit more than this, which is this is one eighth cup. So 30 mil, I probably use like 33 milliliters if this is 30. And um, that's what I use in my little Mr. Coffee. I'm going to turn you around here and see if I can show you what I, my whole brewing station right here. There she is, the coffee. Okay, and what I have found with this coffee is that I like it a lot better after it has sat for a minute. So I don't know if the flavors just need to like mix in in the water. Like it, it just tastes better blended and it just tastes better. It has a better flavor after it has sat for a couple minutes. So y'all hang on and um, I'm going to fix my cup and get ready to have me cup coffee from Mexico. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Coffee is ready. Okay, here's what she looks like. Yeah, no, this is not Javi. I'm just, I'm keeping their $40 freaking mug, right? Um, but you know, it's, it's pretty opaque. You let it sit for a little while. The next cup will be better, though. I personally like mine with a little pumpkin pie. Spice. Yeah. All right. Put a little of that in there. Ooh. It smells really good. It has a very nice fragrance. And, and you know, I swear to God, I think that my pumpkin pie spice creamer actually tastes better in this coffee than it does in the Folgers. I know, right? Mmm. <sighs> Delicious. Anyways, like I said, if you're interested, I know you can get like a half bag, which is what? Half pound. You can get a one pound bag, or you can get two pounds. Um... 
different prices and every month you get you know your bag of coffee from some other part of the world so yeah like doing the world of coffees <laughs> anyways this one's delicious i'm really happy with it i like the idea of trying different ones you know and finding out like what is what i really 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 like and um i know I, I like this the coffee is more a ground coffee that 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 concentrate i kind of thought that was too good to be true um you know but it's it's just not my thing i think that's better with like iced coffees but um now though there have been a couple of YouTubers, I've had no problem so far, but a couple of YouTubers have had a problem with Javi Coffee not canceling their subscriptions. Now, I, I kept my email that, you know, verified the cancellation, and I also took a uh, screenshot of it. So, so like, uh, no, excuse me, you give me back my damn money because I canceled your ass. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I may not have any problem. I'm just, you know, I figure two more weeks and, and I figure they, they should be done with me. But uh, anyways, if you do try the Javi coffee, be careful because some people are having some difficulties getting them to stop taking their money. I don't know anything about this company. I, you know, they have a lot of references, but that's not always accurate. Um, don't know anything about coffee subscriptions. So, you know, I don't know if this is a good one or not, but so far I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the coffee. I'm happy with the price. I'm happy with it getting delivered to my door. You know, I mean, you just, you can't, especially when you live out in the country, it's not like I can just walk across the street and, you know, there's a 7-Eleven. <laughs> ah, that would be awesome. I would never make coffee. I would just go buy a cup of coffee every day. Anyways, guys, I love y'all so much. Your coffee, your tea, whatever is your jive. And, you know, I hope that you wake up pants and every single day <laughs> yeah that was fruity wasn't it it's time for me to go to bed <laughs>